In this video, I will be demonstrating how to set up a watchless pane. A watchless pane is a type of composed page. A watchless pane adds flexibility to how watchless are displayed to a user. As we saw in the previous video, watchless allow you to quickly be alerted about data in Enterprise One that is critical to your business. They are built off of advanced queries and can be viewed from a drop down list. For more information on creating watch lists, please see my other video. Let's go into Enterprise One and take a look at how to create a watch list pane. To create a watch list pane, we need to add a composed page. To add a composed page, click on the drop down arrow next to your user ID. Then click Manage Content, Composed Pages. This takes you to the Page Composer. Make sure Create is in the Name field so that we can create a new composed page. I'll provide a name when I save the composed page. To add a watch list pane to this page, click the Create New Content icon. A list of the content types pops up. Click on the watchlist pane to add it to the composed page. Enter a name and description for the watchlist pane. The name is only visible in the page composer, and the description shows up at the top of the composed page. I'll point this out later. Next, select the type of watchlist pane you want to add to the composed page. To do this, click on an option. The All option brings all personal and shared watch lists that I have security access to into the watch list pane. Once the, all the watch lists have been loaded, I can edit the list and remove any that I don't want. The Empty option creates a blank pane. Then you will need to click on the plus sign and add the watch lists that you would like one at a time. Finally, the dynamic option is similar to the all option in that it loads all the personal and shared watch lists that I have security access to into the watch list pane, but it does not allow me to edit the pane. This is totally controlled by my security access. I'm going to click all for now. Click OK once you have made your selection. Once I click OK, the pane is created with all the watch lists that I have access to. At this point, each watch list has a question mark next to it. This will change to the number of records once I have saved the page. If I want to remove a watch list, I can hover over the name of the watch list until I see the trash can and then click on it. I'll remove a few of these. Once I have removed the watch list, a new icon with a plus sign is added to the bottom of the list. If I click on the icon with the plus sign, I will see a list of all the watch lists that I have removed. If I want to add a watch list, I just click on it and it is added back to the pane. Once I'm done, I click on the save icon. I'll name the composed page. In this case, I'm going to name it All Watch Lists. The name you give the Compose page should be meaningful since it will show up as the name of the Panes tab. I'll show you this later. Now let's create another Watch List pane. Click on the name and select Create. Click on the Create New Content. Watchlist pane. Let's give it a name and description. Give it watchlist pane. This one we're going to do empty watch list. So I'm going to click the option for empty watch list. And I'm going to click OK. You'll see its pane's been created with no watch lists. All you have is the icon with the plus sign. Now I can click on this icon and see the list of the available watch lists. I'm going to select a few of the watch lists in the list. 
the list is in alphabetical order, so this makes it a little easier. So let's go down to some that I like. We'll do held orders. Held orders to release. Held purchase orders. And then let's do something with items. Zero inventory. I'll save this composed compose page and name it empty watch list. So up to the save button, and we'll call this one empty watch list. And click OK. Now I'm going to close the page composer so we can take a look at these watch list panes. So we'll close. This will bring us back to the main Enterprise One screen. And the compose page pages show across the top here and you'll see now there's two at the end the way i named them empty watch lists all watch lists so let's click on the all watch lists you'll see the description shows here at the top of the page The watch list pane gives you the same basic information as the drop down, watch list drop down, number of records and the different colors. Okay. If there are records that match the criteria of the watch list, the number shows in blue. If the number of records meets the warning thresholds, it shows in orange. And if it meets the critical threshold, then it appears in red. There are also tabs at the top of the pane. The matches tab only shows the watch list that have greater than zero records. The warning tab shows all the watch lists that have met the warning and critical thresholds. And then the critical tab only shows the watch list that have met the critical threshold. I'm going to click on the compose page that we created from the empty watch list option. It's this one. Here, I only see the four watch lists that I added to the pane. If you hover over the watch list icon, it will give you information about the status and the last time the watch list was updated. If I click on the refresh this item icon in the top right corner of the watch list, the number of records will be refreshed at that moment. If I click on the watch list icon, it will open up the program and run the query that the watch list is based on. And I'll be able to review the detail records. This was a quick review of how to set up a watch list pane.